lines. Drivers behind the lines in three, two, one, go. And we're off. We got two Blue Alliance robots working on placing a cube. Looks like Tribe Tech's Robotics was able to successfully get it in. We got three high gain pieces over on the Red Alliance. And now Castle Robotics is working on getting that dock and engage. Black Knights working on placing that cube that they weren't able to get off during Auton, getting it into that low row for the Blue Alliance. There's two points right there. Now Elk Logic's working on placing a cone for the Red Alliance, getting it onto that high row in that co-op grid. Got Castle Robotics placing another cone for the Red Alliance. Ricky and I getting it onto that high row and just trying to line it up. Hatchet Robotics in their loading zone for the Red Alliance, working on picking up a cube. And the Black Knights come over with another cone for the Blue Alliance. Fearsome Gear coming over with a cube for the Blue Alliance, placing it into that middle row. Got a little bit of a tussle between some robots here in the center. Looks like Elk Logix is trying to get through, but we've got the Black Knights as well as Tribe Tech playing a little bit of defense on them. Elk Logix is able to get through into their loading zone to grab more game pieces to get more points for the Red Alliance. We've got Tribe Tech also working on picking up another cube for the Blue Alliance. Fearsome Gears has theirs and is now working their way back over. Black Knight's coming over with another cone for the Blue Alliance, filling out that link. Castle Robotics places a cone and then works to grab another one for the Red Alliance. They are trying to fill out those links in that top row for the Red Alliance. Hatchet Robotics coming over with a cube. Working on filling out that co-op grid link. And they're able to place it, not only getting five points for the cube, but also five points for the link. We got Fearsome Gears, as well as Tribe Tech, working on getting that dock and engage. Black Knights trying to line up to come up to join them. Hatchet Robotics, as well as Elk Logix, both working on getting that dock and engage for the Red Alliance, while their Alliance member Castle Robotics works on getting another cone to gain them extra points. And it looks like the Blue Alliance wasn't able to fit all three robots on their charge station. Let's see how these scores turn out. All right, let's see those scores. And the winner is the Red Alliance. With the final score of 114 points, earning three ranking points and moving Elk Logics into sixth place.